can view hers. This is Caesar with Small Engine Velocity, and I am on my third moto vlog since my arm broke. And today isn't as cold. And if you can't tell by that giant flag up there, today is also not that windy, which is kind of cool. Uh, I made some changes to the ruckus. I'm at five and a half and four and a half weights. I went ahead and switched back to my unshaved drive face. I was gonna change the belt, but I couldn't get that 14 millimeter nut to come off the clutch last night when I was in the garage. Uh, over there, we went to Tacos to Go last night again for Northwest Houston Mini Motos, and we met up there, and it was fun. Um, and I got to see everybody. People were happy that I was running on two wheels again. Um, but I didn't go on the ride. Uh, I've discovered that I have a little bit of PTSD when I'm riding around with a, a crew of people again. Um, we were riding around in the parking lot and then on the street. I was paranoid that people were gonna like hit me or something like that. So I kind of just laid low and then I went home early. So that worked out for me. Sorry if anyone's watching this and is like, you went home early. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I also told my wife I'd be home early. So, what to talk about, what to talk about. I left a little bit late today, so I'm probably gonna get stuck in a bunch of school zones. So, I don't wanna try to make this too long. Um, but I got a call today and uh, set the appointment for my physical therapy. Hopefully I can do it this Friday. You will be funny is if I show up to physical therapy on my ruckus, I think that would be hilarious, actually. <laughs> like, hey, I'm here for therapy. I already got my arm warmed up for you already. Been stretched and lowered. Just kidding. Get it stretched and lowered. <laughs> Anyways, I finally got the last parts for the stretch yesterday so uh, we'll be uh, we'll be working on that project soon as after as soon as I can get a, an exhaust or find an exhaust that will work in the end I don't know if I get the Briggs exhaust that looks like the lawnmower exhaust pipe I mean what's the harm in that because I can always use it for other project bikes and you know use it as an emergency backup if I break another exhaust. See, that's called human justification. The human mind has an excellent way of justifying its needs or its wants into needs. So something that I want that I don't need, I can justify somehow into a need. Like, for example, what I just did with the exhaust. I made it from something that was, uh, I want that exhaust. It doesn't really, I don't really need it. But then I said, oh, but I can use it as a backup exhaust. If the next exhaust that I bike buy breaks, then I can use that as a backup so I can still ride my bike. See, that's justification. And us human brains are very, very good at it. Let's see what we can squeeze out of the wreck today. See, it's not as cold yesterday, so I feel like it's gonna go faster. And that guy right there, he has a bicycle, but why is he walking it? Does, does that not make... Maybe you're not allowed to ride your bike on campus? We'll see. Oh, it's still 20. Whoops. Okay, now it's not 20. Oh, and then there's brake lights. So, I'm not wearing two jackets. I am wearing a, a vest under here, as well as my t-shirt. I am wearing a different pair of slacks, but another pair of sweatpants underneath it. So, I have about the equivalent to what I wore yesterday, except for I'm not wearing two pairs of gloves this time. Uh, if anyone has a good uh, suggestion for wind-resistant gloves, please let me know. Um, these are definitely summer gloves. Or maybe there's like a liner that you can put inside on your hand before you put your gloves on. I don't know. Does that exist? Is that a real thing? Please, someone tell me because 
my hands are freezing in here. <laughs> it's not as bad as it could be, but yesterday it was pretty bad in the morning. Anyways, that was uphill. We're headed back downhill. You guys should know my route by now. Like all the stuff that you see before it starts to change. All the elevation changes and all my speeds and what I should run wherever I'm at. So, yeah. So we reached about 750 subscribers uh, recently. That means we have 250 more to go until we can get more features. And I know that no one wants commercials on their YouTube videos, but, you know, if you don't mind watching them every once in a while, that'd be kind of cool. Oh, my gas light turned on. And it's like solid. Oops. How did I burn all my gas? Oh yeah, that's right. What's his name? Drove it around a bunch of times. Police bike. And this is his gas anyway that he put in here, so... Technically, this is free gas. And I can't wait till I get my YouTube Live back. Oh my gosh, Facebook Live is... It, it's got that cool where you can hit the thumbs up and the heart and a bunch of chimes and stuff. That That's kind of cool. Um, but I can't get the chat window to show up in the... the, the page. Maybe there's something I'm doing wrong, who knows, but it just, it's not doing it right. I'm sure it's supposed to do more. So, let's hit 9,000. Yeah, 9,000 is 43. That's not bad. I like this weight setup. I don't know why I prefer lighter weight setups. I think it's because I like to accelerate better, because I don't like being run over by cars. And 42 to 45 is a great average spot to be at on this particular road. Uh, I'm also going to work with uh, Texas Get on setting up a Galveston ride next uh, spring for uh, ruckuses. Or if anyone doesn't mind driving slow, then you can ride whatever the heck you want to ride. But we're not going to be going uh, freeway. We're going to go Highway 6 all the way down there. Which will be cool. Then we'll meet up with G-Town Ruckus Mob. Which is the Galveston Ruckus Group. Pretty sure they're year-round riders, too. Uh, I think Roto Ruckus from the Discord channel was talking about how it just, first snow came and now the uh, Ruckus is in hibernation. That's sad. I'm kind of glad I don't have to hibernate my Ruckus. Although my Levon is like completely unused right now. I just need a battery. Someone recommended I take the battery out of the Ruckus and put it in there and drive it for a few times, but I don't want to do that. <laughs> I really don't. But I may because I don't want to mess up the carburetor on there because it's probably all gonna get gummed up and I gotta put like carb cleaner and whatnot so oh well so today is just uh, babbling about whatever day I haven't got to talk to everybody so I guess uh, my mouth is vomiting words like I do sometimes yesterday I was driving by here and Okay, so I just did the front fork. And you know when you install something new, you're like, did I do something wrong? <gasps> did, did I do something wrong? And then you're like, and you smell something, you're like, oh no, did I do the rotor wrong, or the, the drum wrong, and it's burning up? Oh no, is the bearing messed up? Oh no, did I not put the bolt on for the axle on right? Oh no, did I not? Oh no, did I not? And I smelled it, and I was like, it smells like something's burning. Something's burning. What is it? Something's burning. And then I took open my helmet and it smells like it smells like chicken. I was like, oh, it's Popeye's chicken. Popeye's chicken smells like burning ruckus. <laughs> so I guess the ruckus has the sweetest burning smell ever. <laughs> For those of you that like fried chicken, of course. Now, so I was doing some video editing yesterday, and my wife was like, well, it's been a while since I've heard that. 
or at least that's what I imagined her saying when she was sitting there. But I know she was sitting there listening to me going, oh my gosh, here we go again. Because the whole time I was talking uh, on that first video that I was editing, I was like, whoa, I love it. I'm so glad I'm riding again. I'm having a great time. Woo, let's go forward and have some fun. Woo, go Tigers. I don't even know where I got that from. Kind of sounded like Adam Sandler. What do you think? <laughs> like a retarded Adam Sandler. Here we go with the tuck. Already getting close to 40 miles per hour. Steady climb. At least I can break 40 pretty easily. I don't have anything breaking uh, driving in front of me. Oh, here I go with another light. I wonder if there's a way that I can like... Oh, do windshields help? <laughs> like if I put a windshield on the ruckus? Is that a thing? Does anyone know? Okay, everybody send me pictures of ruckuses with windshields. Because I want to know if there is one. And if there is a windshield, I might try it. Especially for the winter. <laughs> so I don't freeze to death. Even though it may look ridiculous. But I will put stickers on it, so. <laughs> Shoot, if I put a windshield on, I'll put front pegs right here, see? So I can cruise like a cruiser with a front windshield. My first bike, well... My second bike had a front windshield. Then my, uh, what's it called? My 750, my Honda Shadow 750. Seems like everything I've ever owned that I've liked is a Honda, so. I apologize, LaFon, but I like you too. So 42 is a pretty consistent get. Oh, whoa. your variator, variator really works sometimes. Hey, I'm happy with 43. On a cold night with no one with no one in front of me. Why am I popping? Can I possibly be running rich? Anyways, this weekend I'm going to go ahead and swap carburetors because i got to clean it out because I really feel like that's part of the reason why I'm not uh, running right. Uh, and then I want to get these uh, pegs right here repainted because they've been worn out forever. I'm not sure how I want to do it. It may end up just being plastic dip. Time to defrog. Defrog. Defrost. Oh yeah, I also decided that my moto vlogs are not going to be limited to uh, 10 to 12 or 8 to 12 minutes anymore. I don't care. They're going to be as long as I feel like I want them to be from now on. Someone told me, oh, your watch time. Oh, this. Oh, keep people interested. You know what? I'm going to make them. I create them as long as I feel necessary. You know, I, I try to get people to watch all of it, but there's never going to be, no one's going to watch my moto vlog all the way through. Every single time. They're going to cut out because it gets boring or I'm talking about something stupid or I offend them, which I really doubt because I don't think I offend anybody, but yeah. So let's tuck a little. By the way, I need a new helmet. speed on the water ruckus is 45.5 miles per hour and the ride isn't over yet. 
I want to grab that cone. Uh, why do I want the street cone? I have no idea. But it'd be cool to put next to the ruckus whenever I park. I could put, like, SUV stickers on the cone, and then whenever I park, I could have put it on the cone so people don't hit me. Yeah. I don't know. Sounds like a good idea, though. I don't want my bike to get backed over like the LaFon did because some idiot wasn't paying attention. Stand, by the way, it keeps dragging on the ground. Everyone knows that's unsafe. Anyways, I'm about to take the road to the worky part. Uh, I like yesterday or the last time when I did the little speed up time. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and make this little uh, uh, fast forward montage -y thing, montaginess, and then some slow down stuff perhaps. I don't know, I'm recording 60 frames, so why not do some slow-motion? I don't know, what would I slow motion? <laughs> I wish that I could mount this camera in the front of the bike somewhere else, like behind me. I can't think of a place to put it anywhere else. I guess I could put it down here. Oh well. I got more mounts. I got mounts for my mounts. Sorry, this is a fast forward montage. I am here at work. I have made it safe and sound and it wasn't as cold as I thought it was but I didn't really ever check what the temperature was outside. Uh oh. There it is. I forgot my badge. In the wrong spot. I forgot to take it off. But yeah, so that's my motive vlog for today. Go ahead and park, and then I'm gonna kind of do a quick look at the ruckus because I don't think anyone's really got any current video of it. But, anyways, there's the ruckus, that's what she looks like now. Nah. I painted the CVT cover black, the intake is white, which I need to change, the front suspension is changed, and then the shock in the back has been replaced. And this is new. And these are the things I talked about painting. But anyways, I digress. Anyways, thank you for watching. Blah, blah, blah. I really appreciate everybody watching. If you're watching this right now, then you're a champ. Because it, this is going to be a very a decently long video. And this is the very end. So I very much appreciate it. I very much appreciate everybody who watched my video. Even if you didn't make it to this part. But anyways, thank you for watching. And I will see you next time.